Hi there to you. I hope I find you well. And uh, today we've got something a bit different. Now, you might remember a couple of weeks ago, we did a full top five video of what I consider to be the best value for money ready to run steam locomotives. And actually since then, it's amazing how many more I found. There's just so many great bargains out there for those of you who are on a really tight budget, but don't want to compromise on quality. And quite a few people did ask in the comments about, well, what about for the diesel fans? So I've decided that I'm going to do another top five video. And these are my personal picks on locomotives that I found feel really are great and offer amazing value for money at the prices that I can find them out there for sale right now today and uh, you won't be disappointed with any of these five. So without further ado in an association with our channel sponsor Trainomatic, makers of DCC decoders and accessories, come with me and I'm going to show you what my top five picks are. <laughs> There's actually quite a few locomotives that I could have picked from for this video and um, it's certainly at the moment it's really worth hunting around and the range of bargains that you find may well vary from shop to shop. But for me, um, I thought long and hard and from what I can find online and also what I've got direct experience of, I had no hesitation to actually put one which we haven't actually reviewed, I realised, but it's the Helgen Class 26. Now, there are quite a few different versions of this about. It's been released and re-released with different guises over the years. And actually, in some respects, it's a bit of an undersung model. There's still plenty of detail going on on here, as you can see with this uh, um, grey version. And certainly they were very long lasting locomotives, unlike the Class 25s, as you see here, they got a whole lot of the sectorization liveries along with the BR Blue and the BR Greens. So a really long lived locomotive. The Helgen model has so much power because there's a lot of weight in here. And I've just been really, really pleased with this model, so much so that I'm now on the lookout for a rail blue version. I just really do love this locomotive. You can find them out there for under a hundred pounds. And in this day and age for a really high quality Bobo all wheel drive, all wheel pickup locomotive that will just keep on going, that's fully DCC ready, and there's plenty of space in there if you want to go down the sound fitting option. Uh, there's plenty of space to do that with the greatest of ease. It's got uh, lighting as well. And really, for me, it just is an, a good all-rounder that I have no hesitation to put in in my number five position. When it came to number four, I did really think long and hard. And uh, it must be said that Helgen very much are. The, the kings of quality diesel locomotives. And a little bit embarrassed in some respects that my number four slot is another Helgen Bobo diesel. This time it's the class 27. Again, it has all the same features that the class 26 gives us. But for me, it's just so nice to see that they tooled up the two separate models. And I do have a thing for these uh, Bobo diesels. And for me, this particular livery, we did do a full review of this. It really did reach out and tell me that th there was a lot going on with this weathering. It just felt for me that Helgen really know how to add that extra bit of something into their models. Just like the 26, it has amazing performance, all-wheel pickup, all-wheel drive, and plenty of space inside it for that DCC fitting or DCC sound fitting. When I bought this, I've actually been back and had a look. There's a lot of choice for Class 27 still. And um, pretty much whatever's your poison, there is a livery for you. And again, we're looking at around the £100 mark, brand new, ready to run. 
If you go a bit further afield and find some of the uh, lower volume uh, retailers, you can also find some of the previous runs of these models for, um, well, I remember in the good old days seeing them down to about 30 quid at one point. I mean, we're talking probably about 10 years ago now. Gosh, <laughs> looking back, how much I should have spent. But uh, certainly I have no regrets having picked up this Class 27 from Helgen. And with the value for money that it offers, uh, you really will not be disappointed. And I've got no hesitation to put it at number four. For number three, we're going to another different manufacturer now. It's not all Helgen, I do promise you. But this is a model which actually Jack Morgan, I must mention him, of Hatton's put me on to. He asked if I would do a review of these because at the time Hatton's were doing them in the sale. I've also noticed that quite a few other retailers have been doing them in the sales as well. And you can get them at down to a really incredible price. It's actually a DMU, but it's a diesel, a diesel multiple unit. Well, it's not even a multiple unit. It's a diesel single car unit, and it's the class 122. Now, this is from Daypol, and they also do the class 121. Hatton's actually loaned me this model, and I was so taken by it that I actually just bought it. I said, look, how much do you want for it? I really love this model. So I'm forever grateful to Jack Morgan at Hatton's for actually yeah, putting me in touch with just how good this model is. It's one of the few locomotives I've seen that really does take DCC to a new level in terms of different lighting functions that we've got going on here. We've got interior lighting, we've got cab lighting, independent at both ends, plus that directional lighting, it really does keep on giving. It also natively supports a sound fitting option too, which is really, really easy to do and is not obtrusive into the insides of the model. It's easy to get into if you want to fill it with seated passengers, then that is, is so simple to do. And what really sold this model for me is this exquisite underframe detail. You can see there, there is so much going on in so many different colors. The detail, it just rewards careful scrutiny. And for me, it, what it said was, this is a model to take notice of. And certainly I did. Buying this model, um, there's actually just a review sample that was on a loan rather than anything else. And I'm so pleased to add it to my collection. The build quality is amazing. The actual running quality is really good as well. And I also found that even though prototypically these didn't really work with anything more than maybe one trailer load, uh, actually this model can pull an awful lot handled the gradients just so well and I really fell in love with it to the point where I'm really looking forward to Daypol's O-Gage version which is due out later in the month that I'm filming this but we get ahead of ourselves. I really have no hesitation to put this in to my top five diesel ready to run bargain locomotives at the number three slot because quite frankly, you can still find these at an amazing price from a number of different retailers. Of course, we've got that affiliate link down below. And in so many different liveries, the prototypes were long lasting and lasted well into even the privatization era. And actually one of my favorite liveries, I'm not ashamed to say, is the Silver Link livery. It is just so, so beautiful, even though it's completely out of era for me. I think it's probably the one privatization livery which I would break my rule and buy. It really is such a nice model. So there we have it. Our offering from Daypol in the number three slot. For number two, we're going to go to yet another manufacturer. And this, again, is a model which I worked in conjunction with Hattons to do a review, focusing primarily on its bargain price. And it's actually the Oxford Rail um, Janus Shunter, which they did in association with Golden Valley Models. Again, it's not one that was especially on my radar, but what I could not help but notice was the really great price that some of these models were coming out in. You can actually get it factory fitted with sound, and when you look inside, it's really thoughtfully laid out to make DCC fitting quite easy. But the price, I've seen these down to around £49.50, and you get a lot of locomotive for that money. 
There really wasn't a massive amount to fault with it. The build quality is great. The running characteristics, really, really nice. This particular example in ICI Red didn't appear to have sold particularly well, and it's why it's probably the most heavily discounted one I've seen around. But I've also seen them in a number of other different liveries. And I really look forward to seeing whether Oxford Rail, in association with Golden Valley Hobbies, are going to bring out some more in different liveries. Certainly if you model industrial stuff, this is a locomotive for you. And one example was trialled on British Rail, even though they didn't end up buying any. So it would be interesting to see what the demonstrator looked like and see that maybe as a model from Oxford Rail that would cater for those people who perhaps want something a little bit different on their BR themed layout. But it's that price that really puts this fair and square into the number two slot on my top five ready to run models. When it comes to the number one slot, uh, there's a lot of thought went into this and actually in many respects this is the locomotive that caught my eye right from the start. It was a bit of a stalking horse from Hornby, so again another different manufacturer in this top five and you're probably starting to guess what it might be. And of course it was that 48DS Ruston, the diminutive locomotive that stole modelers hearts when that was released. Now, I don't actually have one in my collection. The one that I reviewed was on loan from uh, my friend Les Cliff, who um, had lent it to me so that I could actually DCC fit it for him. So we're going to have to show you some of the archive footage that we've got of that locomotive running and being reviewed. I really got taken with it. There's a lot of weight in what is actually an incredibly small model. And I'm seeing them out there for around the 60 to 65 pound mark from so many different retailers in several of the liveries that were available. There are more due out this year in liveries such as Express Dairies, but you can still find some of the eye-catching liveries from the first release at really amazing prices. And don't let its diminutive size put you off. This locomotive is incredibly reliable when it's running. The other thing which it very much has going for it, that despite that small size, it was incredibly easy to DCC fit. And because of the clever design that gives access into the cab from under the bonnet, fitting this with both sound and a stay alive is a doddle. As long as you're prepared to hide the contents of the cab with a crew, then actually Fitting this locomotive up with, most importantly, I guess, a stay alive would be so, so easy. And you can imagine just how powerful a performer this locomotive would be with that in place. So I have no hesitation to recommend the Hornby 48DS as my number one choice. Now, I'm really interested to hear from you guys. I'm sure a lot of you have been around a lot of different model shops and seen what is on the shelf and available. So do share in the comments down below where you've seen models for sale at really great prices. Help out other modelers, let them know where the bargains are. In these cash strap times, I think it's really important to know about the great models that may have passed under the radar and are being sold at these amazing knockdown prices. And if you know about any other deals that are on there, ones that you think I should have included in this top five, then feel free to post that in the comments down below as well. I do read all of your comments and I'm really grateful uh, for hearing what you have to say as well, even if I don't get the chance to reply to every single one. Well, I hope you liked the video and uh, don't forget to tickle that like button and sharing is caring. Share us on social media as well. Let other people know about what we're doing here and subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. And also you can go over and check us out. The link's down below on Patreon and you can uh, help support the channel there. We've also got some affiliate links down below just to help you find the models that have been featured today. And I'd love to hear from all of you. What do you think are the greatest value for money ready to run diesel locomotives currently available share uh, information about them in the uh, comments section down below love to hear from you and also where uh, by uh, leaving some information you can help out a fellow modeler out there who may also be looking for some other really great bargains so i'm sure that there'll be others who'd really love to know what bargains you've found out there as well but until next time you take great care of yourself this is me jenny kirk saying bye for now
Today's video is sponsored by Trainomatic, makers of DCC decoders designed to be fully compatible with every manufacturer's locomotive. Visit train-o-matic.com to browse the full range and see what they've got suitable for you. I'd like to send out a huge thanks to everybody who supports me on Patreon. And an extra special huge thanks goes out to Anthony Kidson, Michael Churchwood, Anthony Hunt, William Wade, Wayne Johns, Offshore Allen, oorail.co.uk, Tepic, Michael Lockie, Helen Sink, Peter Bolton, Brian Smith, Brian and Dorothy Mudd, Gary Lewis, David Quinn, Trish Bits, Sparky 10707, George Butterini, Andy Finch, Chris Moss, Robert Sears, MD of San Juan Model Company and Grant Line Products, and Judge Mortis. Thank you. Without you guys, I couldn't do this.